For nearly 700 years, Travemünde has been Lübeck's gateway to the Baltic Sea. Nowadays, it's Europe's largest ferry port and a trading hub for Scandinavia and the Baltic states. From here, much smaller ships used to come with their cargo into Lübeck via the river Trave. The Lisa von Lübeck, a replica of a historical Hanseatic cog or sailing ship, lies at anchor in the museum harbor. Sometimes she sets sail over the old trade routes with guests on board. The waters of the Trave surround the old town center, turning it into an island. Since 1987, this part of Lübeck has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So has the Holsten Gate, the landmark most closely associated with Lübeck. This 15th century city gate was part of its fortifications. Nowadays, the brick edifice houses a museum devoted to the history of the Hanseatic League. The Hanseatic League, a medieval alliance of mercantile cities, made Lübeck the most important trading center in Northern Europe. And it was considered the queen of the League. Lübeck is proud of its many church spires. From the bell tower of the more than 800-year-old St. Peter's Church, you can look past the brick Gothic St. Mary's Church to the Baltic Sea. In the south, Lübeck Cathedral dominates the view. The streets and more than a thousand buildings in the old town look pretty much as they did in the Middle Ages. More than 85 narrow lanes crisscross the heart of Lübeck. The 17th century Füchtingshof or Füchtings Yard testifies to the charitable generosity of a city councillor. Widows of merchants and seafarers were allowed to live here rent free. The fate of the city has been decided for centuries in Lübeck's town hall. Its facades reflect the city's former wealth and influence. Under Lübeck's leadership, about 200 cities once belonged to the Hanseatic League. The hall where the city parliament now meets looks like the interior of a ship. Merchants used to finalize their business transactions under its wooden ceiling. Thomas Mann, who won the Nobel Prize in Literature, memorialized the mercantile tradition of his home city in his first novel, Buddenbrooks. His grandmother's house, where the family saga is set, has become a literary venue for one and all. We have several pieces of memorabilia from the Mann family, which remained in Lübeck. And on the other hand, we have rooms arranged to reflect the novel. Thomas Mann worked according to precise images based on reality, and that means we can get our bearings in a world like that of the Buddenbrooks fairly quickly. Günther Grass is another Nobel Literature Laureate from Lübeck. There's also a building devoted to his work. The multifaceted artist chose the city as his home, among other things, to be closer to his friend Willy Brandt, the former West German Chancellor. A social democrat, Brandt lived in Lübeck until he had to flee to Norway to escape the Nazis. For his policy of détente with Eastern Europe, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1971. The Willy Brandt House, like the other museums, is located in the old town. Lübeck wouldn't be Lübeck without another ingredient, marzipan. And the Nida Ega Marzipan Salon is just the place to find it. This treat, made from almonds, sugar and rose water, has been manufactured here for more than 200 years. The exhibition shows Lübeck's history from its sweetest side. And at the end of your visit, you can take the city's landmark home as a tasty souvenir.